Hey everyone, Pete Warner here with your Diz Daily Fix for Monday, October 16th, 2017. Here is what's happening today. Sexual assault charges against a Disney Cruise Line magician have been dropped by the Orange Osceola State State Attorney's Office. Andrew Pogson, who performed under the name Freddie Fusion, was charged in February of 2016 with sexual assault of a woman he was sharing a hotel room with. The woman claimed that she was too inebriated to give consent, and Pogson was charged at the time with sexual battery. State attorney dropped the charges because they said they did not feel they were able to prove the case beyond a reasonable doubt. Now, at the time he was charged, Disney Cruise Line suspended him, and there's no word yet as to whether or not he will be reinstated. My money's on probably not. On another legal issue for Disney, a Jacksonville contractor, Allstate Steel, has dropped its lawsuit against Walt Disney World after it had claimed that Disney owed them $80,000 for work it did to build the Jungle Skipper Canteen in the Magic Kingdom back in 2015. The Orlando Sentinel reported that the suit was dropped voluntarily on October 9th, and it's not currently known what prompted them to drop their claim. And early this morning, Disney announced a very unusual package. I've not ever seen this done before. They're calling it the Ultimate Disney Christmas Package. And if you want to experience Disney for Christmas, here's what you can do. Uh, This package will have you arriving on December 21st, departing on December 26th. So it's a package only for these dates. It's not flexible. Coming in on the 21st, out on the 26th, and you will get an itinerary of exclusive experiences. So, for example, on December 21st, you'll get a one ticket per person for everyone in your party to Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party in the Magic Kingdom. Um, on December 22nd, access to a special nighttime extra magic hours at Pandora, World of Avatar, at Animal Kingdom. December 23rd, a special holiday character experience at Disney's Hollywood Studios. December 24th, an invitation to a special Christmas Eve dinner celebration at Epcot. And December 25th, a special holiday gift delivered to your Disney Resort hotel room. Now, this offer includes a five-night stay at select Disney Moderate, Deluxe, or Deluxe Villa Resorts, uh, along with a four-day theme park ticket with Park Hopper option, starting at $139 per person per night for a family of four in a standard room at Disney's Coronado Springs. So that's sample pricing. And based on that pricing, uh, it would be a package price of $2,775. But that is, you know, uh, example pricing. So, of course, if you're staying at the Grand Floridian, no, it's not going to be $2,700. But you kind of get the idea. Interesting, interesting package offering. Of course, you can always head to dreamsunlimitedtravel.com. You think I was not going to get that plug in? And uh, they can help you book this very unusual, very interesting holiday vacation. You must book by December 10th, and some restrictions do apply. Now, over on the Diz today, uh, contributor Andy uh, Golding has top five very first things to do with a first-timer at Walt Disney World. And our own Steve Porter has an article up today, Getting the Most Out of a Short Trip to Walt Disney World. Head over to www.info.com to check out those articles and many others. Trending on Disboards.com today is a very hot discussion over Disney's announcement that they would be testing out allowing pets in certain resort rooms. Um, In this thread, which is entitled Trial Run for Dogs in Resort Rooms, uh, the majority of people that are weighing in are not happy about this decision. And uh, as a matter of fact, there's a poll up on that thread where like I think 80 last time I looked it was like 80 85 percent of the people were not in favor of Disney allowing dogs at the resorts which I'm stunned by but we're going to have more of a discussion on that in tomorrow's Diz Unplugged uh, podcast so be sure to tune into that live 1 p.m. disunplugged.com or you can check it out over on YouTube but if you want to join in that particular discussion head over to the theme parks attra- or, I'm sorry the resorts forum on disboards.com Over on the Diz Unplugged today, the Disneyland edition of the Diz Unplugged with host Tom Bell and his team uh, have Mary Jo Willie uh, making some suggestions for activities to add to your Disneyland vacation without leaving the Anaheim area. It's uh, one of their day six shows, but this time focused on 
the Anaheim Resort area. And finally, in the weather, if you're heading into the parks in Orlando tomorrow, expect uh, scattered thunderstorms tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon with a high of 81 and a low of 70. Out in Disneyland, mostly sunny skies but warm, 93 degrees during the day, dropping down to 63 at night. You can find links to all these stories and more on our Daily Fix main page at wdwinfo.com slash dailyfix. That'll do it for me today. Join us again tomorrow for the next installment of the Diz Daily Fix. Have a great day, everyone.